In Fair Verona, where we lay our scene, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. The fearful passage of their death, Mark Love, is now the two-hour traffic of our stage. But don't worry, I was only last half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Wall. Go then, for it is in vain to seek him here that we are not to be found. <laughs> Can I go forward when my heart is here? But soft! What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Juliet! What light, Juliet? Looks like Sarah Harper is frozen up. <laughs> Juliet, or four heart foul Juliet. It's Romeo coming at you. <laughs> I can't do it. What dog talk is about, Juliet? <laughs> Juliet, I think you were going to say, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Weren't you? I thought so. <laughs> and then I think you were going to say, Deny thy father and refuse thy name. <laughs> or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll never be a... <laughs> Juliet? <laughs> Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. <laughs> now, if Juliet were here, I'm sure she would say, What man art thou that dost be screened by night, so stumblest on my counsel? That is, if Juliet were here. <laughs> You'll do fine. No, I won't. Yes, you will. <laughs> Hark! Here she comes again. <laughs> so, what's new, Juliet? <laughs> I think you're going to say, "'Tis almost morning. I would have thee gone, and yet no farther." Then a wanton bird. She speaketh. <laughs> a, a wanton bird. Who lets it hop? Who lets it hop a little from her hand? Like? Like a poor prisoner in his twisted jives, and with a silk thread plucks it back again, so loving, jealous of his liberty. I would I were thy bird. Sweet. So would I. <laughs> Yet I shall kill thee with much cherishing. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say, Good night, till it be morrow. 